calendar problems. Let's we check number of odd days in 100 years. For that we need to work out something. Let's we split this 100 years into 99 years plus 100th year. Because in this 100 years, this 100th year is a century year. And moreover, this here we have to know that this century year is a non-leap year because it is not exactly divisible by 400. By this we can conclude that this 100th year has one odd day. Now we will split this 99 years into leap years and non-leap years. For that we need to divide this 99 with 4. Because for every 4 years, the leap year is repeats. By doing that division, we will get number of leap years in this 99 years. Around this total 99 years, we come to found that 24 leap years we found that. Then we can write in the place of leap years as a 24 into, we know very well that leap year has 2 odd days plus non-leap years. Simply 99 minus 24 we are going to get 75 non-leap years are there. Previously I told you that non-leap year has one odd day. Let's go through a view. Leap years has two odd days. For every leap year it has two odd days. Non-leap year has one add odd day. Let's come to a problem. 24 2s are 48 plus 75 1s are 75. By adding all this, we are going to get 123 plus 100th year. Already I told you it is a non leap year. Then we are going to have one odd day. By adding all the sum, we are going to get 124 odd days. Let's we simplify this 125 odd days into simple one by dividing with 7. Why? Because one week has seven days. If we do the simplification, we will get the remainder as five. By this we can conclude that number of odd days in 100 years is five.